So here we go. We're two weeks into this build and I'm ready for my trip. I picked this trailer up one, one day less than two weeks ago. So I picked it. It's Wednesday now. I picked it up on Thursday, two weeks ago. So I would say I'm, I'm pretty happy with the build I got in two weeks. Uh, the, these bed structures are obviously very industrial style, but I kind of wanted them that way because this is going to be kind of a crossover trailer. I could pull my, my futon down here out and use and all the bedding and use these for shelves if I happen to travel somewhere where I just need to move a bunch of stuff. But these, uh, these shelves are nice and strong, obviously. As you saw earlier in one of my earlier videos, the kids all sitting on top of this thing. I picked up a futon off of Craigslist for free and just missed a couple bolts. So I, I put the new bolts back in and I threw away the mattress that came with it and I put on uh, the mattress out of our hide bed to hopefully save a little bit of money. So hopefully this works out for us. If it doesn't, uh, I'll end up building the uh, the bed in here. I'll probably end up building it in there anyways because that's the sort of thing I do. In the uh, in the front there, I've got the two girls' bunks. We've got the upper bunk has a crossbar on it for uh, safety to keep the little girl from rolling out. I may have to move that up a little higher depending on what's going on. You can see the bar down there that's lower on the wall. That's a step to get up onto the bunks in the lower bunk. In the upper left corner, I've got uh, one of the vents. And in the lower left corner here, I've got a vent you saw in the earlier video to get some flow through on the air. I picked up a, uh, a small catalytic converter. It's called a Mr. Heater. Very exciting. I'll have to go with my Mr. Coffee and uh, whatever Mr. Thing I can come up with. But uh, it'll be nice for this trailer. I think it'll be plenty of heat for this trailer. It actually puts out a really good amount of heat. Up in the front corner, you can see under the shelf that I've got my battery box and my battery in it. Eventually, I'm hoping to put the box outside in a lock box with the inverter. The inverter didn't really work out for this trip. Uh, it was buzzing a little bit and I didn't get it hooked up, but I don't really need it. I've got 12 volts, and so that's good enough. On the wall there, you can see my switch panel. It, uh, it's working really well, and we'll switch over. We'll move over and take a look at that. So here's the electrical panel I've got hooked up. Uh, I've, I covered how I installed this and, and the operation in the electrical portion of the, the uh, build as well. So I'll cover it again real quick here. There's a master switch, which turns the whole system on, and then... I've got the front interior light and then the rear interior light. These two are spares that are going to work for the outside lights. 12.5 volts I'm showing right now. I've got my two USB ports and my 12 volt port there. Uh, another thing that I figured out here is these magnetic hooks are really sweet on this uh, on this super strut. Gives some, gives some spots to hang things. And that's one of the nice things about this strut is I can attach things pretty much anywhere I want. It's got all these bolt, bolt out locations, very strong. So I've got a whole bunch more stuff that I want to do to this trailer. I just don't have time to do it before the trip. I'll finish up the bed stuff, probably end up building my own bed. I'm going to build a table. I'm going to build an awning that goes on the outside. Uh, I'm going to probably put some half-inch insulation on this roof of that same foam board before I put the sheeting on the roof so I get the roof fully insulated. I'm going to pull these aluminum panels out of the corners and clean them off and then paint them again as well or replace them with some, um, some of the wood maybe. depends on how it looks to me. I'm going to end up staining this trim and the uh, with the paneling. So the paneling, I'm pretty much going to leave this color. The trim, I'm going to make darker. Uh, and uh, I'll hook up the rest of the electrical. I'll put the box on the outside and eventually get an inverter for it so that I can make my 120 plugs work. But that pretty much covers it for my trip. For all those of you who have chosen to subscribe to my videos, I do really appreciate it. And those of you who are watching it, thank you for your views. And uh, stay tuned for uh, more great builds on this trailer and on other projects. You never know what I'm going to build next. Thanks for watching.